kiss for you. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Welcome back to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part five of my video series. So now we will start from where we had just finished. So now here we are going to uh, create two activities. The first one will be for the login, and the second one will be for the register. So here I create a new. Uh, let me create a new package, and here inside our package we can name it as activities. And inside this activities, so we can have the activity and empty activity, and so we are going to use the rename it as login activity. All right. So another activity which we are going to create is the register activity. So here I go to activity. and we say register activity and yes uh, both the activities have been created so here inside our main activity to <laughs> java file here we will just write intent equal to new intent and we can say login activity dot class and start activity inside this we can use intent and similarly for the uh, register button we can say this is register activity dot class so that's how it will work and one thing which we have forgotten is that we have to initialize the button knife library we have to bind it to our view so here this is how we do it so now the next step is now let's start working on our login activity or i think okay so let's now uh, start working on the login activity so here we have this login activity first of all let's change it to uh, relative layout and here inside this we are going to uh, write the code for the xml so first of all we have to is let me just remove this and let me write background and the background will be color primary and then we have to use the padding so we can say padding to be 30 dp so here inside our uh, relative layout we are going to use a linear layout and inside this we can say match parent and the id of it will be or i think we don't need the id but we need the orientation so the orientation will be vertical so inside our uh, linear layout we are going to use the image for the login or for the back and then we have to use the text view for the login part so here what we are going to do is we simply have to use image view and the image view will be wrap content and the source it of it will be the sorry drawable Uh, I see back. Okay, so after we have this, then we can say it to be padding five dp. So because we have to give it some uh, padding, and after this, we are going to use the text view. So here we can say text view. So the match width and height will be wrap content. and we can say text to be login text size will be 40 sp and text all caps will be true and finally we can say margin top to be around 40 dp okay and text style it will be bold or if we are able to use the font family but we are not able to use the font family here so for now we will just remove it all right and here after we are 
there we also now need to have a, a new linear layout inside that linear layout so for this uh, we are going to use the second la linear layout so here we can say linear layout match parent wrap content and the margin top will be 70 dp and the orientation will be vertical so after we have this uh, vertical then we can use the text input edit text text input layout so for this we can say text input layout so the match uh, width will be match parent and the height will be wrap content All right, so after this, uh, the match parent and the wrap content, we are going to use hint. The hint will be enter email, and then we will have the start icon drawable. So the start icon drawable will be drawable IC email, and then we are going to use the end icon mode and the end icon mode will be clear text and then we will have end icon tint and it will be color black all right and finally we, we will have the box stroke color and the box stroke color will be as uh, as well as black all right and then inside this text input layout we are going to use uh, the text input edit text and this time it will be match parent and wrap content and i think the height should also be match parent okay then here we can set the id as ed email and then we can say text color will be color black and we are going to close the tag and we will have another tag here all right so i will just uh, copy these lines So here we are going to use the top the margin top as well. So instead of email we are going to use the password and then we can say margin top it will be around 20 dp and the start icon drawable it will be IC password and instead of this clear text uh, I add icon mode it will be password toggle all right and after this we are going to use ed password here and that's it okay so now i think it is uh, let me just write it to be 10 yes it now looks good and after we are done with these two uh, text input layouts what we are going to do is we are going to use the app compact button so after this layout ends so let me just show you what we have done so far so there you can see we have the we have the linear layout inside that we have an image view and we have the text view and then we are using the linear layout and inside that linear layout layout we have these two text input layouts so after we have the text input layout and so we now have to use the app compact button and it will be match parent wrap content 
and then it will be around margin top will be 30 dp and text will be login and what we can say text size is to be 22 sp and the id will be button login and the background will be color black and the text color will be white or we can say color white all right so now that's how it looks and i think it looks good uh, so yes okay so now our login class xml is now ready so now the user will enter the email he will enter the password and when he will click on login so the user will be able to log in to the system so so, so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you and goodbye